stage 13 that was probably the most dramatic stage of the rally so far. Poor Esa Pekalapi right at the end of the stage. It sounds as if he had a delaminating tyre. It then basically caused him to go off into a snowbank and he struggled to get back onto the stage, losing an, oh, a mountain of time, sadly, dropping him right out of the point, certainly out of that battle for the podium. Now, we're in the, uh, we're in the area just outside of Refuel, fitting that light pod. And, uh, well, thank goodness that's gone in OK. I did think that might be a little bit of a struggle because there is a little bit of damage to the front left here on Esa Pekka's car. Have a look at this. They've had to change the front left. There's a new tyre on there. That is the one that caused them all the problems. Within sight of the flying finish for Esa Pekka and for Yanni Fern. Really, you can see still quite a lot of snow where they had to dig it out. It was a mammoth effort from these two and the fans to dig them out of that snowbank. Oh, just desperately, desperately sorry for Lappy. He was going so remarkably well. Let's wander around and we'll not get in their way at all. Uh, but they're changing over the tyres. We will, fingers crossed, get an explanation from Esa Becker. But look at all this snow. That's something else. Have a look at this as well, Elliot, without touching anything. They will once they get the car up and once they get the wheels off. You see all that snow just under the wheel arch. That's all. There's always lots of snow when you finish the stage, particularly a 28 kilometre stage. But because they got stuck in that... Oh, that was like glue, that snowbank for them, wasn't it? It was holding them f tight and they just couldn't get out. They tried desperately hard. Uh, eventually, with the help of spectators, a lot of work from Yanni and from, from Esa Pekka, they did manage to get themselves out. So, thank goodness, a long stage, a long road section. It gives them plenty of time to get to the next stage on time. But listen, that would be no consolation for these two. The disappointment is there. The disappointment is real. So we talked about a delamination tire. We clearly will keep reasonably well back here, but can we go on to the... Yeah, can you see that? So that two spare tires underneath, that was the front right. Look, you can see what's happened. It stripped the top layer of rubber off. That top layer of rubber is what contains those studs. It is a completely bald tire for Esa Pekka Lappi. Goodness me. Goodness me. Now, we believe Craig Breen. Just come round this way. Craig Breen had the same problem. Look, they're just tying together again. You know, that front left delaminated. Uh, Lapis was front right, Breen's was front left, just tying together the front splitter with cable ties. Cable ties are a rally driver's best friend. There is no question about that. Uh, you can do just about anything with a good set of cable ties. But I I'm sorry, Craig. I talk, I talk some... Did you say I'm talking such sense? Is that what you said? <laughs> They are for sure. Uh, apologies for Craig's uh, flowery use of language there. But look at that. So really important for a number of reasons. You know, they've still got 27, 28 Ks to go today. If they can, if they can in some, some way, rep way repair that splitter, it, it'll, it'll give them a, a little bit of extra that they wouldn't get if it was completely missing. So let's take a look. Oh, there's ex exactly the same. Look at that. Look at that. Exactly the same as... Esa Pekka Lappi's tyre. Um, there'll be questions asked for sure over that, but uh, here we go. Um, we'll let the boys, they're working hard. The boys here are working hard as well. We will, at some point, grab a very quick word with these two. Oh, Esa Pekka Lappi, you worked so hard to get the car out. But tell us, what happened there? We've seen the tyre. What happened? Did that contribute to it? Yeah, it was... At the, the second last trade, basically, I had some vibration um, and then it disappeared and I, I didn't realize what happened. Then we did few corners. Well, the last one was on the right side and then the last last corner is on the left and for sure the right corner goes well because the studs were there on the front left. But then I didn't realize I have no studs on the right. So, yeah, then the last corner was long left and we had no chance. Desperately bad luck, Esapek. Have you talked to Craig? Craig's had the same problem, more or less at the same time. Yeah, yeah, on, he had front left, but yeah, yeah, it seems a common problem, but which never happened before, at least for me. So um, I don't know, but yeah, easy to say now that should I break earlier. But... Oh, 
no, no, no. Listen, I, what can you do? What can you do as a driver when something like that happens? As he said, we have rarely, rarely have ever seen that. We've seen punctures clearly here before, but I, I've spent a lot of time at stop lines in the last 20 years. I've seen an awful lot on snow and ice. I don't think I've seen that before. So there we are. That's Esapeka Lappi. Let's just see whether Craig is done, whether we can get one very quick word with our rally leader. Very quick word, perhaps, or is he still working away? Still working away. Craig, a very quick word. Oops. Still working away, still working away. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, they are. They've still got the toolkit there. No, we won't interrupt just now. They're still doing a little bit of work. We'll come back to Craig Green in a second or two to get a word with him. So when I said that cable ties were a rally driver's best friend, their second best friend is the Gorilla Tape. Uh, between the two of them, Gorilla Tape and cable ties, and maybe you might have watched a little bit of some of those DIY programs as well. Uh, you can do just about anything. It is incredible. Uh, there we are. As I say, plenty of time. You might wonder why it all looks so relaxed. Long stage, long road section means lots of time for our drivers and co-drivers to work on the car between stages. Well, look at that. What a job. Not quite like new, but not too far off new. Uh, shall we go and see if we can grab a quick word? Very quick word with Craig. Craig, sometimes you need a little bit of luck to win rallies. My goodness me. Uh, wow. Yeah, uh, disappointing in some respects because, honestly, I tried to manage it. I really, really tried to manage it all the way through the stage. And um, But, yeah, look, it is what it is. At what point did you know that you had that delaminated tyre? Well, it's fairly clear, like, there was, was a fairly big bang. It was literally flat in fifth gear and then uh, the whole thing, about three k's from the end, so, yeah, not, not so nice. That's remarkable that you lost so little time, three k's from the end. <laughs> take, a, take a brave man to stay it off, steal it off me this weekend. Well Have done, Craig Green. There we go, yeah, never happened before. You know, as we said earlier on, I don't remember it happening like that before, certainly not twice, with the same cars in the same stage at more or less the same point. So there we are, Craig Breen and James Fulton. Earlier on, we saw the luckless Esa Pekka Lappi and Yanni Fern heading off to the next stage. Drama on stage 13. Half a second between our two fighting boys at the front. But what more can this rally throw up for us?